Hello, my name is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. I welcome you back to Service Management Leadership. Today, I would like to discuss the difference between an asset and a configuration item, also known as a CI. An asset may or may not be a configuration item. It does need to be tracked, but for financial reasons. And nowadays, most physical assets have a barcode sticker. Most people know this from their laptops, have a barcode sticker on there and they carry it around and everybody uh, sees what asset they have. You call the service desk, you give them the number, they say, oh, that's Joe Smith, Jeffrey T. Fertiller. So a configuration item may be an asset like a computer, software, or server hardware, something that needs to be tracked, yet it's something that can be configured and most importantly, has relationships. If you struggle discerning whether something is a CI or an asset, the easiest way to understand is how it's incorporated in the other processes. When upgrading this thing, asset or CI, will you go through change management? If so, it's a CI. If it's not, you, when you upgrade, then it's an asset. It means that you'll go through an incident or service request to upgrade. So both CIs and assets will have attributes listed in the ITSM tool. These attributes are very important and should not be overlooked. Assets can be just about anything that is a physical device. Assets are tracked from a financial perspective and can be used in incidents or problems if there's something wrong with the asset. For example, if your computer breaks, you call the help desk and an incident record is opened and assigned. There is a whole set of IT asset management, ITAM, ITAM principles for a process that allow the tracking of an asset and from acquisition to deployment to disposal, but we won't get into those right now. An asset typically holds financial value, which depreciates over time. The bean counters love that, don't they? It contains warranty information, possibly a customer service information for the warranty, and is created from the procurement system, discovery tool, or sometimes manually. So now let's look at a CI. A CI, while an asset may be a laptop, desktop, printer, phone, things like that, and don't have relationships, a configuration item or a CI is something that does have relationships, whether it's parent-child or a dependency. And so the CIs will be included in the CMDB, Configuration Management Database, and are critical to the success of the organization. And the CIs and the CMDB is vital for the success of your other ITIL processes. If the CI is not functioning properly, then there might be financial consequences, but it's still not an asset, it's still a CI. And so while you will have more assets in your organization than CIs, we can still think of those separately, right? A piece of a server, a piece of hardware can be both an asset and a CI, but it, let's think about it for which purpose we're tracking it. If it's asset, then it, we're tracking it for financial reasons. We're looking at how we're depreciating it how we're going to replace it. If it's a configuration item, we're worried about the relationships. We're worried about whether or not it's versioned for like software. We care, is it version 4.31 or 4.32? We also worry about how it's discovered if it's a configuration item. Is it discovered through a discovery tool which would map those relationships? Sometimes it's inputted manually. Also, a CI will have events raised against it by event monitoring tools. And so if it's monitored by an event management system, it's likely a CI. And so we'll delve into what types of CIs there are, baselines, all that stuff in a later video. But I wanted to have a short video to explain the difference between an asset and a configuration item. Once again, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. I thank you for visiting 
my channel. I hope that you will subscribe to the channel or like the video, leave a comment for the video, share the video, and offer feedback. We would love to hear from you. Have a great day.